In this video we'll be looking at substitution. So first of all we have the expression 3x plus 2y. Now part one of the question we want to work out what that makes when we have x equals 2 and y equals 3. Now you can see here we have an x and we have a y in our question. All substitution does is replaces those letters with the numbers that we have to put in. So if we take our expression but rewrite it, instead of those x's, we want to put numbers in where they are. So 3, and we know x is 2, so we put a 2 in there. And we know that y is 3, so we can put a y in there. And just like normal, when we have brackets, we simply want to multiply what is on the outside to the inside. So 3 multiplied by 2 gives us 6, and 2 multiplied by 3 gives us 6 as well. So that is going to equal 12, just like that. Now our second example, we have x equals minus 1 and y equals 6. Now I wanted to get some practice with the negatives as well because they're often a little bit harder, but if we approach the question in exactly the same way, so isolate our letters inside the brackets and then replace those letters with the numbers provided. So, using our negative number rules here, we have a positive 3 multiplied by a negative 1. So that is going to make negative 3. And we've got 2 multiplied by 6, both positive. So that's going to make 12. So minus 3 plus 12. Again, you can take your time working this out if you want to. Use a number line. Minus 3 is your starting point. If you add 12 to that, that is going to give you 9 as your final answer. Perfect. Okay, moving on to a slightly harder example here. We've got 2x squared minus xy. So the process that we go through will be exactly the same. We have exactly the same x and y values for part 1 and part 2, just to give you a rough idea. Again, dealing with the negatives and positives in the same question. Write out our expression again, leaving the x's and the y's in brackets. And just like before, we want to input the numbers given where the letters are. So 2 bracket 2 squared minus 2 bracket 3. Now, when you've got a situation like this and you have an x squared, a lot of people make the mistake thinking that you square both the 2 and the x. If they wanted you to do that, they would have put it in brackets in the first place. When you just have a situation like this, the squared is only attached to the x. So in this case here, as you can see, the way I've written it, the squared is only attached to that 2 inside the brackets. So 2 multiplied by 2 squared, which is 4, minus, and then 2 times 3 gives us 6. We can expand this out. 2 times 4 gives us 8. And take away 6 from that, our final answer is 2, just like that. Now exactly the same idea again. We want to do 2 and then isolate that x inside and then isolate the x and the y inside their own brackets as well. Now we want to put that minus 1 and the 6 inside those brackets. So 2 multiplied by minus 1 all squared minus, minus 1 multiplied by 6. So with this it's a little bit more difficult because we've got a lot of negatives going on here. So first of all, this bit here, we have a minus 1 squared. So that is minus 1 times by minus 1. And by our negative rules, we know that double negative makes positive. 1 times 1 is simply going to be 1. So we can rewrite this as two lots of 1. And then taking away, I'm going to keep this in brackets, you'll see why in a minute, because minus 1 times by 6, again, we've got a positive and a negative, so it's going to be a negative, and 1 times 6 makes 6. So we've got 2 times 1 is 2. And then we've got a minus, minus 6, almost written like that if you want. And again, we've got that double negative, so that becomes a positive 6. And our final answer, 2 plus 6, is going to be 8. These are the more explicit examples that are quite hard to imagine. Um, but if we take it onto a real-life example, this is more of a word example. Again, very common in GCSE papers. We have one apple, cost 50p. One banana, cost one pound. How much would two apples and three bananas cost? Now, you could answer this in a basic way. 
or you could answer it through substitution. A lot of the time, they may just say A equals 0.5 and B equals 1. So that is basically putting the sentences they've given us into algebraic terms. We can write our question here as a formula that we can substitute those numbers in. So if we want to work out a cost. So our cost we can say is C. And that cost is 0.5A because one apple costs 50p and A would be the number of apples that you have. And we want to add that to 1B. In most cases you could just write B because 1, like I said in algebra, doesn't really mean a lot. So because we want to work out what two apples and three bananas are, we can say that A would equal 2 in this case and B would equal 3. So 0.5 multiplied by 2, solving it just like we did with the last questions, and then we want to add 3 to that. So 0.5 multiplied by 2 is just 1, and then add 3 gives us 4, so that will be £4. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helped.